Hi, I'm Fabio from the University of Bologna, and in this video I'll be talking about SMD nets, Stereo Mixture Density Networks, a joint work with Yi Liao, Caroline Schmidt, and Andreas Geiger. In this talk, we are going to focus on the stereo matching problem, a long standing and active research topic in computer vision. The main goal of stereo matching is to recover dense correspondences between image pairs by estimating the disparity between matching pixels required to infer depth through triangulation. Nowadays, deep learning architectures based on convolutional neural networks have outperformed traditional methods by a large margin in terms of accuracy on standard benchmarks. However, while CNN-based methods have achieved large improvement in the disparity estimation task, they are limited to discrete predictions at pixel locations of a fixed resolution image grid and suffer from severe oversmoothing problems at edge boundaries. In fact, despite the estimated disparity map looks good, they often poorly reconstruct object boundaries, causing bleeding artifacts when converted to 3D point clouds, as clearly shown in this picture. While classical deep networks for stereo regression suffer from smoothness bias and are not able of representing sharp disparity discontinuities, the proposed stereo mixture density networks effectively address this issue by predicting sharp boundaries and thus clean 3D reconstructions. Here we illustrate the differences between classical deep networks for stereo regression and our proposed method. For clarity, we visualize the disparity for a single image row. In particular, on the left, we can see an example of a standard network that suffered the smoothness bias and continuously interpolate object boundaries. As we can notice, the best that this model can do is to predict at the discrete locations the black dots that represent the estimated disparities that are smoothly transitioning from the foreground to the background. On the right, instead, we show our mixture density network that estimates a bimodal mixture distribution over disparity values, which can be queried at any continuous spatial location x. By doing so, the distribution can basically model both the modes, mu1 and mu2, and then we can select as the final disparity value the mode with the highest probability density, such that we can model a sharp edge even if the two modes are continuously transitioning from the foreground to the background. Here we show our model that, on top of a standard stereo backbone, does not directly predict the output disparity or the parameters of our bimodal mixture model, but instead, by means of an additional head called SMD head, queries at arbitrary continuous location in the image domain the feature values predicted by the stereo backbone using bilinear interpolation. Then, these features are passed through a multi-layer perceptron in order to estimate the parameters of the bimodal Laplacian mixture distribution. Note that our formulation allows to query the disparity at any continuous 2D pixel location, enabling ultra-high resolution predictions. So despite the input image is at fixed resolution, we can predict much higher resolution outputs. Here we show an example of this important property, where on the bottom we can see an example of a disparity map computed by a standard deep stereo matching network, in which the maximum output resolution that can be achieved is 0.5 megapixel, while on the top an example of the estimated disparity using a combination of the bimodal mixture model and the proposed SMD head that allows for querying at arbitrary spatial precision, in this case 128 megapixels. In order to validate our novel formulation and motivated by the lack of large-scale, high-resolution stereo datasets, we also introduce a new photorealistic binocular stereo dataset at 8 megapixel resolution with pixel-accurate ground truth disparity maps. Furthermore, we also render a novel synthetic Kinect-like dataset to show the effectiveness of our proposal also on the active monocular depth estimation task. Here we show 3D point clouds obtained using different 2D and 3D stereo backbones on the binocular stereo dataset by adopting different output representations such as standard disparity regression, a unimodal formulation and our bimodal mixture model. We can note that our bimodal representation notably alleviates bleeding artifacts near object boundaries, resulting in more accurate 3D reconstructions. Moreover, 
We also demonstrate that our method can be effectively adopted for the monocular depth estimation task as well as on an active depth setting. For more results, code and more information, please check out our project page. Thank you for your attention.